everybody, this is Jim at sp500chart.com. It's a few minutes after 4 on April 8th, 2013. It's time for our daily technical analysis video of the S&P 500. Before we get started, need to remind you as always that the website and the video are for educational purposes only and nothing stated at the site or in the video is intended to be used as investment advice. I can draw lines on charts, but you have to draw your own conclusions from your own research and make investment decisions that are suitable for your personal financial situation. I'm not a licensed financial professional, just a guy that draws lines on charts. And really, this uh, video isn't going to take up too much of your time because nothing really new, well, something new, but nothing surprising happened today. When we came off of this 1572-ish uh, top, what, what exactly was that level? Yeah, call it 1573, because it was. We broke down through this support line, back tested, made a little bit of a, uh, a bear flag, then came back down to this 1540 level that we already had marked on our chart as a likely place for a bounce. Um, that, plus the fact that um, we started to see that bounce take place last Friday led me to the conclusion that we would likely bounce here and break out of this small descending channel that only lasted one, two, three, four days. So, moving a little closer, if it will, please come to Daddy. I just love that little leg. So anyway, here you see, here's that channel again. Came up to it, stopped right at that top line on the uh, close last Friday. Spent about half the day gathering up a little bit of a consolidation. Then uh, shortly after lunch, we broke out over this, made a little bull flag. And this is all on a, on a small term sh chart. Here we go. Same thing. Made a little bull flag right here. Then headed on up where we closed at uh, almost 1563. Now you can see I've added two new lines. I've added this uh, red line up here and this red line down here. On the uh, idea that we are now in a narrow little ascending channel. The question now becomes how far does this go up? Well, since we've got this lower line that shows our support, we probably say until this line breaks. But if you're asking me to take a stab at it, if this pattern does end up being either a triple top or a form of a head and shoulders top, then I don't think we're going to get above this blue line. And I think when we reach this blue line, the S&P will turn back down. It's just kind of the nature of the beast. Um, there is a possibility that we could be forming something of a double top pattern up here. We've seen this before. It wouldn't be unusual. But the idea is this. We have a horizontal line here at 1540. Been tested once, twice, and I suspect by the way things are looking, it will get tested again. And when it does, um, if this has the shape of a head and shoulders, then I would expect this line to give way on the next test. So that's really it, guys. Pretty, pretty basic, plain and simple. Let's watch this little channel now. This one has broken out. Um, and you can see it did so in pretty convincing fashion. And uh, we even have the, if, if we take the, the closing level of where this line is, we're actually in, a, in an area that is right at the threshold of, technically, of technical significance being over this line. 
So, uh, so the little heads up would prove to be fairly, fairly accurate over the weekend that we would bounce at 1540 and that, uh, that we would expect this line to give way on, well, actually today. And it did. So now I'm looking for resistance at this blue line and a reversal whenever we break this bottom red line. So guys, that's it for January, January, for April 8th, 2013. You'll have to pardon me. The pollen is starting to get out here uh, in Atlanta and my eyes are just burning and I have sinus problems anyway. What a mess. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Take care.